just so you know, you will be wasting material. It is common for the printer to make a mistake. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And, and I apologize for not doing any updated videos in a long time. However, you're still very important to me. So what I did buy is a 3D printer. And I want to be, this is going to be like an honest review. I don't care about all the other reviews out there. I'm not a... 3D printer guru by any means. Very tech savvy, but not a 3D guru person at all. However, I purchased the Creality CR10S Pro. Okay, at first, I wanted to throw the printer against a wall. I thought it was the biggest piece of shit. I couldn't get it to print for crap. Eventually, I figured out the problem, and there is a sensor on the 3D printer extruder that tells you how close you are to the flat platform for printing. Now, it does come with a feeler gauge, a 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge and how close it should be to the bed when it prints. And this, I'm telling you folks, is probably a little bit thicker than the blade of hair. So it is like unbelievably thin. It's gotta be really close to the board to the playing field for printing and it is quite impressive at first like I tell you just so you know you will be wasting material it is common for the printer to make a mistake they will not tell you that or show you that on those review review <laughs> I can't even talk those review videos however I have plenty of mistakes that the printer has done Okay, so um, I did buy a plethora of, I got 10 rolls of filament. I bought translucent, I bought transparent, I have blue, I have red, I got black, I got white, I got gray, I have wood, I have silky brass color, and I have silky silver color. I believe that's it. And I have, I just kept on buying. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that, I'm gonna buy this. By the way, and uh, oh yeah, the translucent, I believe, is PETG. And I have not been very successful with it, all right? This printer, the Creality CR10S Pro, can print pretty much any type of filament based on the temperature, okay? So what I've, I've experienced, experimented quite a bit I've been this printer has been printing non-stop for probably four days <laughs> I've been having a blast I've made obviously the the dog when it first comes out I've made um, the USB thumb drive holders I've made um, uh, filament holders to hold your filament on the wall I'm actually making my own design for a, a power generator, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be publishing that on the Thingiverse. Um, I'm printing a Raspberry Pi case so I can actually put, uh, what is it, OctoPrint on it, and I'll be able to remotely view my printing capability with a camera. So there are so many other things you can do with this thing. It's unbelievable. However, it is a pain in the ass to set up. What's really interesting though, is that it has an automatically, um, automatic leveling feature. Meaning, okay, now what this means, it does it electronically. It does 15 points on the platform, the heated bed, I should say, a bed platform. Sorry if I'm not using the correct terminology. The heated bed, it makes 15 points on the bed. All right, and when it does this, it remembers in software where it's high and where it's low based on the current location of the printhead that it needs to be 0.1 higher here and then 0.2 lower here, negative and minus positioning, and then it remembers that in software so that it can auto-correct during printing. Clever. That is a huge feature that I would recommend looking for in any 3D printer that you buy. 
okay? I find that being a huge help. So you're not going crazy and trying to figure out, ooh, why is this, this is hitting, that print head is hitting this, the print head is going too high and you have gaps and you have this and you have that. The other thing that I want to mention is that the amount of infill you use. I've read and I've experienced between 20% and 50% is a huge difference. 50 and beyond is a waste of filament. Okay, do not go 60, 70. In one, it increases time, and two, it wastes filament. And the strength, this tensile strength of whatever you're building, is not, you're not going to notice a difference between 50% is probably the maximum I would go on any part. So I, I, I really think that, um, that the Creality CR10S Pro is amazing printer like I said in the beginning I want to throw it against the wall it wasn't working and that's the majority of these prints I was printing a dog and here is here I'll show you a picture of it this is the dog and the bottom this is the feet actually it's this way because there's the I'll show a close-up picture of this and it just the surrounding of it was a real pain in the neck it was not fusing properly there was gaps and spaces and it took a long time there is a screw on the top where the sensor is to adjust the sensitivity between the, the, the bed and the print head. And by default, it's no matter what I did, it didn't matter. It, remember, it has to get so close to the board as, as if it's almost touching it. That's how close it has to be. It has to be 0.2 millimeters away from the platform in order to print properly so i was like we're going crazy just absolutely going crazy however once the thing is done and configured and set up and everything is rocking and rolling this thing prints amazing prints unbelievable super smooth there's no jumpiness and there's no waviness in the in the in the prints i was very impressed for the level now the reason why I got the Pro is because of that auto leveling feature and the power supply and everything is on the base on the bottom of the 3D printer. That I find to be huge. Um, I printed, um, what you call it, 3D, I printed grips for my uh, 1911 Colt 45. Um, I found out that it was actually the full size and not the offices, so I actually gave them away to a friend who actually has them. So, who has that particular gun? And uh, I'm telling you, there it, you have will have tons and tons of wasted material, and no one will tell you that. But just remember that it will happen, regardless if it's professional. You may have the wrong temperature set, and and be be mindful that on every roll will tell you the print temperature, a range. This one is transparent, okay? This has a temperature and it's PLA and is 1.75 millimeter diameter filament and has a temperature range of 190 to 220 Celsius, all right? That's the range. You go a little bit higher, it, might, it, it probably melt too high and you'll start getting like funky designs in the thing and then it'll start looking, let's see if I have anything that looks similar, here we go starts to look melted. See this top here? I had the temperature set too high because I had changed the filament and I forgot to ch change the temperature and it started screwing up. Okay, so I had to stop the print. I had to make some adjustments, change the temperature and everything like that. And I mean, I could change it on the fly, but this was a single part. So that said, if you're looking to get a 3D printer, now I'm giving you an honest review. At first, I wanted to just, I wanted to shoot it. <laughs> it was like, this is the biggest piece of shit. I'm just setting it back. But once it's tweaked, and I, trust me, I'm not a 3D printing guru by far, but once, but I was determined to get this thing perfect. And it is. It prints perfect prints, unbelievably perfect prints of everything that I've thrown through it so far, and it's been printing nonstop for about four days. And I'm not kidding you, four days. And I've been having a blast. Thingiverse, 
great place to get. It's a little slow because everybody's pounding the bejesus out and downloading from it. It doesn't require a username and password, which is nice, so you just have to just download what you need to do. But it's a great printer. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. There is a slight learning curve to everything. I do plan on getting another one, probably a smaller one, and I do plan on getting a 3D scanner, which will make life much easier when you want to make something. Like, hey, I want to make this slot cover. Maybe I'll scan it with a 3D camera, and then it'll spin, it'll scan, and I'll print, I can print a, 3D, a cover. Whatever. Whatever it may be, you'll be able to make whatever you want. Make your own designs. Have fun, have fun with stuff. Having a 3D printer, it makes things endless and things of what you want to do. It'll, it'll probably always be on and always be printing. What I'm printing now is, um, it's actually running right now. You hear the fan in the background, I'm sure you do. Um, it's, it's doing a 16 hour print, maybe 18 hours. I'm printing uh, spooler holders for the wall. You hang them up on the wall, I'll show you pictures of that. And I'm also printing a Raspberry Pi case and I'm going to mount it to the gantry and, and I'm going to print tea nuts <laughs> so I can actually put it on my gantry and, put, and leave the Raspberry Pi on top. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can make your own parts, you can make your own replacement parts, all kinds of things. 3D printer is a must have device. If you're going to buy a, a beginner, I don't, I don't recommend buying a low end one. Buy what you can afford. And if you can't afford it at that particular moment, save the money and spend the money on the Creality CR10S Pro. You'll be extremely happy. The print volume size that you can print is ridiculous. 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters by 400 millimeters. So in a matter of speaking, it's about 11 half inches by 11 half inches by 15.8 inches tall. So the, the print, and I'm, don't quote me on those numbers, I'm just, rounding rounding them but it's massive and this is an honest review from joe tech tips so that said i recommend the printer it's a great printer anyway guys i hope you like it and we'll see you next time give me a thumbs up and buy that printer i'll have a link in the description below take care Creative Labs, iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two.